Good morning, Church. Happy Sam, uh, Happy Palm Sunday, and uh, today uh, on this holy day, I am going to exhort from Psalms 27, and we'll be doing from verses 1 to 6. Can someone read that aloud for me? Thank you so much. Thanks, Anji. Well, uh, <clears throat> so there are a few uh, things that I was, you know, when I was meditating on this uh, Psalms, um, I thought that, you know, there were, uh, I think uh, after uh, Psalms uh, uh, 23 and Psalms 91, this happens to be most popular Psalm uh, in the, uh, of Moses Psalms. And uh, so, quick thing, you know. Basically, uh, we uh, we have been moving uh, a lot in the past 10, 12 years. We have moved almost around seven, eight times, and every time that we were moving, we were uh, thinking what will be our permanent address. And uh, so, most of the times, whenever we moved, okay, this is a long-term project. We are going to be here for some time, so this is going to be it. That's what we thought, and then eventually. Uh, in 2017 that we uh, bought this house and we moved here, we thought this is our permanent address. And uh, uh, that's why, like, so during these transitions, you know, I've seen a lot many times, you know, when uh, my wife was in Minnesota and uh, I was in Fremont, and every time we were looking for companionship, you know, when, you know, the fellowship as a family, we were trying to see, like, you know, what, what would be the time, what would be the day we, we could come together. Every time that used to happen, we used to feel that, you know, yeah, this is it, you know, now, now we don't want to go away, you know, we have to be as a family. Staying and living separate, it becomes a disconnected relationship between the family. The same happened when we moved uh, to Fremont and from Fremont to Sacramento, the same thing happened. Pradna was here, we were in Fremont and then we were going back and forth. And every time that we meet, we used to feel like, okay, this is the time when we are going to get together as a family, as a, f a fellowship and being, you know, uh, having the companionship of the whole family together. So, when you look about the address, you know, the permanent address, you know, what's our permanent address? And uh, uh, in this passage also, if you see, you know, for most of his uh, life, David lacked a physical home. And uh, he always uh, lived his life uh, on the run uh, from King Saul. And uh, as David was uh, God's appointed successor to the throne, Saul perceived him as a threat and sought to kill him. So you see that uh, David fled his home and slept wherever he got a chance. He found a shelter. Uh, though he had many companions with him, uh, David's earnest desire was to dwell in the house of the Lord to enjoy the permanent fellowship. That's what we see in Psalms 27, verse 4. So here, if you see, uh, Jesus happens to be our constant companion and uh, our sense of home. You know, when we talk about home uh, uh, as a family or as an individual, where do we uh, sought our shelter? And that's our home. Jesus happens to be our home. And uh, no matter what or where we are, he is always with us. He is always uh, present in our troubles and, uh, you know, uh, even prepares us a place to live with him. Despite of the uncertainty, 
and the change that we might experience as the citizens of this earth, uh, we can dwell permanently in the fellowship with him every day, wherever we are. So, uh, there are a few things that I uh, would like to highlight in terms of uh, the, uh, the assurance that we get out of this passage. And uh, there are many co-relating uh, verses that go well with this when we talk about dwelling in the house of Lord. And uh, in Psalms 23 also we see uh, that uh, uh, as long, uh, I long to dwell in your tent forever. That's Psalm 61 verse 4 says, you know, I long to dwell in your tent forever and take refuge in the shelter of your wings. Uh, even in Psalms 23, uh, we see, uh, verse 6, we say, uh, Surely goodness and love will follow me all days of my life, and I'll dwell in the house of the Lord forever. So th that's one assurance what uh, we have there. And uh, in verse uh, 5, if you see, you know, he, he mentions, He will hide me in the shelter of his sacred tent. Uh, there's a relevant Psalm 17, verse 8 also, which says, you know, keep me as the apple of your eye, hide me in the shadow of your wings. So we see, like, you know, most of the times when we are in uh, troubles and uh, trials, we see uh, many of us, we feel that, like, you know, what's next, what's, what's the, in, in every situation that we come across in troubles, we'll feel, we should also look up uh, on the, these verses which assure us that God is always with us and uh, He'll always uh, uh, be our rock. Verse 5, it says, <clears throat> He will hide me in the shelter of His sacred tent and set me up high on the rock. Now, uh, Psalms 40 also says, verse 2 says, He lifted me out of the slimy pit, out of the mud and mire. Uh, he, is my, he set my feet on the rock and gave me a firm place to stand. So we have seen, like, you know, whenever we have seen trials and tribulations, whenever we have gone through rough times, God has always been our rock. He has been with us and uh, made sure that, you know, we are firm and strong. Uh, he provided that amount of courage and strength at that point of time. On. So, uh. One more lesson that uh, I uh, picked up was, you know, as God is our strength, uh, have you ever wondered uh, what means uh, for God to be our strength? Uh, it means that the God is there to support us when we speak, when we are weak, tired, and about to give up. We always turn to God and obtain the strength and courage uh, from Him. Life itself is fragile and feeble. In fact, we can easily be discouraged. Many times at work or many times at family, we feel that, you know, this situation is under control. And what do we do? That's the time, you know, we seek uh, strength and courage from the God. One more lesson that I uh, would like to mention here that, you know, uh, the uh, relevant to being uh, our permanent address was, you know, uh, being with the companion of the God. Uh, our ultimate desire is to be with the God. Here, if you see, King David already determined his ultimate goal. He knows that his purpose in life. In short, he has found his magnificent obsession to be with God. And that's where he says, you know, one thing I have desired of the Lord that I will seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord as all the days of my life to behold the beauty of Lord and to inquire in this temple. So, uh, just to sum it up, I would say, uh, you know, as I said, like, you know, our permanent address, we are looking at uh, companionship with the God, and uh, I hope that uh, this message and this passage brings you comfort, strength, and uh, at the assurance that, you know, our permanent address is the companion of God, and uh, you should pray and uh, uh, that's where I would like to sum up this passage. Thank you, Pastor.